Tate's back on the floor for Stanford. Williams, long jumper. That one falls. Zaire looked up. He may have to play a bigger role than maybe he's been playing of late. Zaire Williams switches the triple. Bit of something away from him being out for that long. He got hurt back on January 4th. It was against Oregon State. In fact, here's Williams. Well, that is smooth. It doesn't it give you more angle to get the ball in? But if it hits the rim, it, it's going to bounce off harder than it would be if you have less. But who cares at this point? It's going in. Every Delaire, they're not, they're not letting Ethan Thompson see anything over the top. Oh, he is feeling it. Zaire Williams. Can, right. uh, in the but they, they just play played Washington on Twice. Thursday. Yeah, they played him early in the week, too. That's right. Williams. Needed that, and I went there, but that was just on my own. I just hitchhiked up there, or, you know, somehow got there. I can't remember. Shocker. Here's Williams with the jumper. Zaire, he's spotting up for one instead. Omarugi drives, great, misses great the defense. shot. Great defense. Beautiful execution of the fast break. Now that's how you play basketball. Morgan's going with him here in a critical time in the ball game. Up to eight minutes in. Here's Lawson down low. And they're going to call foul here on Kasunas. That is three on him. The job that Evan Van Beesler does here with these docs, strength and conditioning coach taking over for Adam Linens. Chandler Lawson, the first, the youngest one, right? Where's he going to college? He's committed to Oregon for next year. Jonathan Lawson's coming to Oregon to play with his brother. 6'4", 6'5", long, athletic with experience. There you go. Here's a steal. Leads to a run out. Zaire Williams in transition. And after getting down. Good skip pass and the two hand rim rocker. Zaire Williams. The consensus for himself and others. Merle, good pass in traffic. Williams at the rim again. Well, that's just a big time play by the front on both ends of the floor. Williams, that's a tough shot, really tough shot. I mean, he's game because of illness, non-COVID related. Probably giving him a breather. High arc, Zaire Williams. Mm -hmm. Quick start, nice over the shoulder, batted away, and Zaire Williams wins the race to the ball, and he'll finish. How about the length and athletic? Martinez has like a 40-plus inch vertical. Yeah. So he said he wasn't being a jump shooter he shot fake to Berkeley that they put the ball down and got to the basket that's exactly what it feels like wow Zaire Williams man there's a lot of big steps he took in there <laughs> what, what time zone are you in sir what time zone well, I'm in the Pacific from? time zone I'm, I'm about 20 minutes away from Stanford so it's literally right down the road from me shot clock at five Jariah Horn steps in, and a baseline jumper for Horn. It, it bodes well, Roxy, if you think about the Pac-12. We've been around it for a long, long time, and, and Colorado should believe that they can. I think he's the guy they give the keys to. A lot of talent and a nice shot there in a big game. Cool. Boy, how, Speaking of how, talent, how do you cover that? So Silva. And Merle contested that shot. Nice play by Merle off the bench. Now, the step back. Wow. Three. Okay. Howard Prep out, and now both of them getting on a little bit of a run, feeling it. Boy, that's a great, strong finish inside. Buys. I remember, the other thing I remember about, two things about Samaki Walker. Two to shoot it. William, he makes it this. Are you kidding me? Splashes it. That's leading a three on two. Williams gets it back. And that's an easier shot. So Zaire Williams, I think, um, might need a couple blows here and there. Here's Williams, stops and pops, and that's what you yeah. thought he may do earlier. This is, a lot of times, it's sort of power fours like that won't guard each other for fear of getting in foul trouble. Fun to watch him go at it. That'll count. So, so good at that. They've gone over seven minutes now without a field goal. Zaire Williams from the top and ends that drought with a three into college basketball this year. 
And while you're talking, Utah gets another bucket inside the paint. And an answer from the car. <laughs> for the starting point guard for Utah. Zaire Williams launching a three and answers for the... One team is doing a great job defending, defending the paint. The other team is really doing the opposite. Zaire Williams straight on and a three. Dangerous shooters in the conference. Got off to a little bit of a slow start, Kevin, but it's coming on lately at four threes uh, against Arizona. You have to know where he is. Pull out jumper there for short for Williams. There's the other Williams, Zaire. Pull up good over Amagidi. I've been impressed with Washington State's offensive patience. Zaire probing to the foul line and putting it in. How about that? Cougars in the last five minutes. Yakumovsky, four threes. He's got 16. Ooh. And Zaire Williams on the... Bamba, full steam ahead, blocked by De Silva. A leak out for Zaire Williams, and that might be the finishing touch on Washington State. Team, Jones missing. But look at Kasunas inside. And the tap goes down for Zaire Williams. <laughs> I was That's wondering what he was going to do with that one. That's a tough one. A circus shot wouldn't go down. Williams the other way with a floater. So here's the difference. Hitter looks. And the Cardinal now coming out of it. Now see if they can tighten it up at the defensive end. There's a great look by Zaire Williams. He usually makes those. Uh, he can square it up and shoot it. With well, he's having a terrific game here tonight. There's a nice steal. Is that... Uh, is that Zaire on, on, on cue? And right he's got to pick his pocket that time. Triple, and again, we'll go the other way. And Maurice Kalou coming into this one, shooting 54% from the three at six foot ten. There's Willie. De Silva squares up into the double team. Extra pass for Williams. Big three for the youngster. <laughs> so what are you saying, Bill? I love the Conference of Champions, and I love these two teams. Like, they got very close and hasn't scored yet in the first minute and a half. I mean, you've got to establish yourself, and here's the press that Dana Altman's always going to come with. And Stan and that being played at Matt Court, the old place, they would have changed it and given it five. <laughs> it said, welcome to Oregon. Oh, and my three. God. Everybody loves to play in front of people, the excitement, the crowd, the bands, all the noise, all those things. That's a big part of what college athletics is about. Nice pull right there. That's pretty pure. Person in the history of the SEC to be an all-league player. Here's Williams with the dunk. Zaire Williams getting free. Williams creates the takeaway. And now to the other end with a beautiful finish. That's good. Ajay Moore has 11 points now to match the Edler Davis 11 points. And there's Zaire Williams. And Arizona getting, getting a little bit of life now. Williams another long one, and there's his first mate. So, and that path you can think of individuals, but man, mm -hmm. pressing, a, pushing my memory back. And there's Zaire Williams, a little step back. Well, I just mean leave for the NBA. Yeah, I know, I know. It's okay, it's still worth the count. And nice. nice set up. Dejan Davis saw it. Williams. Williams. Boy, does, mm. he have, does he have a high arc on that shit? He's got to start on this side. Good find. And Williams arcs in another three. You know what, right? Here. Inside. Running out of room was Coleman. And a foul oh, against Stanford. Man. So a couple of early fouls on the Cardinal. After no foul difficulty. Released that ball before the contact occurred, but just didn't happen. So that's the third team foul against Stanford. He's trailing by 14. It's the Cardinal leading the Matador 73 to 59. There's another look. Unsuspecting and in. 
the shoot off balance many times. Doesn't need to get squared up and, and get everything lined up for him to shoot. He just, just has Pull up, good look. And those are the shots that you've got to make if you want to stay in this game. Good move by Stanford. Williams up and in nice and easy. Good job blocking out by Blake Harris that time, but then he turns it over. His pocket was picked. Wills drops it off. Williams around the defender and in. Three. They were just, again, they. Michigan State and Kansas, they both started the game terribly, and then came back and won comfortably. Go figure. Beautiful. I tell you, you know, he's been, and granted, this is a different level. And, and it's one thing to play when you're comfortably ahead against Alabama. There's another. Uh, remind me, please. The San Gabriel Mountains. You mm, go yes. up and over the top, and you come down into Pasadena, and you ride your bike through. It's amazing that Stanford has control of this game with Oscar, who speaks six languages. Great hands that time by Zaire. Wow. Wait. I mean. What did they call there? They gave that they a call. They called the North elbow Carolina. on. They called it on De Silva. They called an elbow. For Stanford, considering that their opener was canceled. So they have yet to play a game. This is their opener. We see early that one of the areas where Stanford has to recognize when he catches it. He's dangerous from beyond that arc as well. Williams already with one three. Give him two. Neither one. A freshman record. Showing his ability to be able to get to the hole, not just a shooter. That's one of the things that you normally work on over the summertime. And they normally go back and think about what Wimp Sanderson was able to do and the talent that they had. I mean, Jason Caffey was on that team who won rings with the Chicago Bulls. Roy Rogers, who was athleticism, his defense, all conference in that category a season ago. Williams sizing up another shot. The mid range is there. Give him 13 of his players to be able to make plays not only for themselves but their teammates. Part of the reason why they run the five out offense. Williams elbow jumper, first points of the second half. Give him 15 over considering LeBron just cut down the nets. Feels like a few days ago. Williams. You just go pull LeBron. <laughs> not the late team. Wills go out. It seems though he's getting some attention to that right calf. Most likely a cramp with a 24 point lead. Do you start? He's been an important part of this Trojan team this year. Averaging double figures is Jones. Finishing underneath the basket. Williams, 11 points in the first half, just three in the second. Oh, a big three right in front of his opportunity, and uh, that was the 64% shooting of Alatisha. Jones, try again. This time he hits. I wonder if we're going to see Oscar De Silva again here in the first half. And that's been the pattern for Jared Haas. When a guy picks up a second foul, he usually plays it cautiously. Washington has almost matched their total turnovers from their previous game. Another wide open look. And Dejan Davis is able to put it through. They're patient. They don't rush it. The timing on slips. The Silva. 16 tonight. Yeah, Stanford one of eight. When Plummer gets going, Ted, Utah is really hard to Ooh. deal with. Hey! Boy, that's acrobatic. And Delaire just misstepping out of the side. And put together a run offensively now that you got that goose egg out the column. Zaire Williams has not played the last six games at that kind of rate. Here's Williams. Good feed to De Silva, and Oscar knows what to do down low. Th think about what the 33 to go in the second half. Stanford 4-2, Colorado 4-2 in the conference, and I guess he's just fine. Oscar not personals. Nice pass oh. by Williams, and his throwdown. <laughs> Max Merle, but what a play after missing the last five games. It's both. He has 14. And Stanford has cut it to 11. It was 18, a 7 0 Stanford run. Really nice start. And maybe that triple double kind of triggers him. Nice pass. Feeds Lucas Casunas for the flush. But a double overtime win. Wall hit some big shots for an 80 73 Badger victory.
For Stephen Bardo and the great crew here in Madison, Adam Amin saying good night. More college hoops from Santa Cruz, Stanford, and Washington. Here's for Mike Hopkins. Last shot time here in the half. Jones beyond the arc. His three is good. That was a great timeout. <laughs> Corner. Let's try a three again. This one left short. Zaire Williams. Nice feet. Interior passing, and the layup goes down. Jaden Delaire. That it, it just hasn't gone his way, but he's capable, especially against a little man-to-man. -man. See, he'll take it in. No, no foul, no harm. Let's just go ahead and knock it down. That job is open again. They can find him. Noah Tate on the floor. Jones, that three-point shot is deep. He kind of runs the team. He can make an outside shot. There's the pass you want. There's your wow. triple call. And the bench knew it. They all Unlucky for Oregon State. Ball tipped away, but right into the hands of De Silva for another Stanford dunk. I'm impressed with Zaire. That Latisha has to be careful. He's really, really aggressive defensively. He has to be careful he doesn't pick up another foul. Nice pass. Great look inside for De Silva, but how about Williams with the feed? Well, you asked me what I was... And here it comes. Steps back. And the break belongs to De Silva. You bet. That's another great assist by Zaire Williams. That is the halftime there. I mean, ever so right. Don't discount Illinois. There's a lot of talent on that squad with a great coach. <laughs> Missing a three, but Chris Duarte fighting for the offensive rebound. Eric Williams has his shot blocked, and Stanford looks to push. Leaking out, Oscar De Silva. You would ask him, he'd say, well, who cares what I was trying to do? Yeah, no kidding. In this game. So with Delaire with four fouls and Davis out, that's two veteran guys. Nice. So you go to him, De Silva. Yes. Game here with just over six minutes remaining in the second half. Williams up top to Wells for the dunk. What a connect. Stanford's too good defensively for you to be successful at that for an entire game. Well, they've worn Arizona out with that, just yeah. either slipping it or. As soon as in the game now for Stanford. And no Dejon Davis. Nice pass to Wills and one. With that, no. Wills gets his own miss. Unbelievable. Coloco so frustrated. And Spencer Jones wow. carries the base. Bottom guy pushing out to the wing to eliminate threes. It's exactly what Mike Hopkins and Washington's done and since he's look been there. At this, Jones finding. One thing you mentioned, Greg, is the sound in the gym. It has to come from the teams because there are no fans. Easy backdoor turnaround and slamming it down is De Silva. So after missing their first seven shots, the Matadors are able to cash in. And there's De Silva again in traffic, able to get it home. Boy, he's just a hard man to defend. Fourteen from the floor, but Harry Morris is a guy who can make who could be a change agent for the Aggies. De Silva from downtown, wow. it. <laughs> he can do. He State transfer tries to lay it in, and it was a little too short. Here comes Wills in transition, the Euro step and layup. Wills Christ. looks like he tie up there. Hey, speaking of birthdays, Bill. Ah, uh, happy birthday, Potter, having his birthday today. We were there. At the defender and playmaker, and worked on his three-point shooting a lot over the summer as well. Williams had a look, instead dishes it out, and on the win, and is not afraid to give it up, no matter what the situation may be. And one of the things that you're going to hear a lot about him, and which is so important, especially as we see a nice move on. Cover your ears, Alabama fans. But he told us yesterday, he was asked, "Who's your favorite player?" And the first words out of his mouth, Charles Barkley. Rim out. It, it just, it's been a struggle to get it to go down. Did you tell Hop that his team reminded you of Space Jam? No, I just thought of that. <laughs> Someone is driving, finds De Silva. Away from becoming the first player in Pac-12 history. Now that's a little deceiving, Adrian, because Utah has a play. 
And that's one thing we talked to McKinley Wright for a while yesterday. Backdoor cut. Parquet tried to flush it. It was effective. Conference is got some really good teams at the top of this conference. And unfortunately for Utah, they've had a run of playing those good teams recently. As Zaire Williams blocks the shot. A double overtime win. Wall hits some big shots for an 80 to 7. Five for a while. Washington tries to get it going again out of the corner. Another three pull. That one might have been partial. So the, the studio guys, Sean and Seth, were calling out Evan Mobley. And, and, and right, rightly so for not taking the shot. Up on the block and give him that big presence down there three, four feet away from the basket. The pass down low to May. That one rejected by <laughs> Zy Boston. I've been there. And Austin. This is like the synchro destiny of my life here all coming together. Are you sure those aren't just your top five? So I'm singing some goofy old blues song. I think it was called Blues in My breakfast cereal sort of yes. a wonder what's the name of the mountains just south of Lancaster uh, remind me please this the combo. final minute of this first quarter Contested block the smoothness by BJ Boston to pull up under control and just knock it down he's gonna be special at Kentucky cuts it to four maybe three too early Stevens attacking, taken by Zaire Williams. Nice. Simply have to make that. Uh, just took the dribble to the defense. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This season, despite the win against Michigan, home, and yet they, like you were saying, they've got some impressive home wins, and they might keep their hopes alive. Uh, Pac-12 regular season title, good win. He got rejected. That's a. They play each other too, don't they? they do. UCLA, Oregon still has three games left. They'll play Arizona Monday, UCLA Wednesday, and comes to help. It leaves Kalu open for the three, which he can't hit. Thompson battling Tate's. And there's Williams the rebound. Eight seconds. You think? Yes. A wild prediction by you. You're being reckless again with your predictions. <laughs> well, almost I, tipped I, I in tried. by them when moved back into the tournament. But what if they lose another game? Is there a back out again? I just can't figure it all out. Duarte has done everything he had. Guy Williams put up 43 in a game for Washington State. DJ Rodman missing the three, and there is Zaire Williams. The Better open looks. Amir Wright taking it to the rim against De Silva. Loose ball, caught A. Green trying to control. Instead, it's Zay. Dejan Davis, tough coverage. Sahonis can't get it to fall through. And you see the difference of the shot. Pryor weaving through traffic, high off the glass. Won't fall. Hobbs it down low to Goodwin on the block. Look at all his hands and feet. Gotta get to that weak side. From the corner. That one's good. From the same spot. Can't hit that one though. Angle Holo left it short. Two for dollar. Get him another one. That one doesn't go. For Stanford. Peterson giving some space. And those two have matched up before at the high school level. A couple of times. Edie left open for three. He buries it. Forced up a bad shot there, Jaden Delaire. Great defense from Isaiah Mobley. That length really coming into play again. Williams lost track of Peterson. Ethan Anderson visiting Oregon State, deciding to go UNLV and now ending up at USC. Uh, recruiting. There's a three ball from top. But a good stat I, I looked up. You know, I didn't look it up. I just kind of ran into it. <laughs> Is it hot? On Stanford. Hunt, so Connell on his back for a moment. Oh, now here's Thompson getting loose for a three, and he nails it. Right here. Stanford was the only high school recruiting or college recruiting trip that I ever took. Early, but Omaruyi with his fourth rebound. Three has come on the offensive end. Oh, beautiful give and go. I didn't know they still did that in basketball. Here's Duarte. Duarte bringing it up. But that's what champions do. You know, their, their impact is not just stats and the crisp ball movement. They're lost in the third of four boys from Memphis. Yeah.
Diedrich, KJ, Jonathan's the younger. From giving some context to it, saying that he scored 14 points in seven minutes. That, that adds a little bit more flavor for the viewer. Hmm, flavor, and I like people who are behind the play. The defense doesn't have to do anything. But if you send cutters through, if you have somebody who you can use as a part of the season, so they truly had to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Already four turnovers for the Cardinal Jazz. Uh, we're going to give you a timeout chair. We're going to give you the ho hockey penalty chair. Just because I'm you calling you out, mute. you're putting me in the penalty box two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct? <laughs> there are limited fans allowed in the building. And some immediate family and friends allowed in is... Un That's big time. And then look at his teammates. Zaire Williams, Zaire Williams. excited. You know, Stan down there offensively. Oh, we just saw the Seattle product. Stanford senior Dejon Davis on the floor. <laughs> Off the mark by Quade. Rim out. It, it just, it's been a struggle to get it to go down. Did you tell Hop that his team reminded you of Space Jam? I just thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> pass you've got to make it difficult that's too easy and too long of a pass to get through 26 points in the paint for the cardinal differential stevenson baseline sahonis back to stevenson corner three that would have been his up to his big man kasunas with the finish banjama for three got it schools will be there there's no official announcement but it's a fairly logical assumption <laughs> yeah. that it winds up you would think five for its first points and it took him about six and a half minutes to get on the scoreboard got off the lid now let's see if they can get themselves a stop Fishman, who's coming off the bench today in his return in a stanford uniform yeah i think he can do that all day because you know from drives to penetrates to offensive rebounds. They need to have plays in that lane. They had one right there. Deja. Shot clock down to five. Maddox Daniels, long range. I know you love Brandon Angel cannot connect. And to my point, Drew, every time Stanford as Kit McKinley launches, Devin Batty. Nice dig right there to, to create the pickup on the dribble. Bartholomew, no. Bunch, and Utah the rebound. Stepping into a three is Allen. The three on De Silva, three on Williams with just over 14 minutes to go. And that's some trouble for Jared Hass. It is. I mean, they're, they're great shot selection is, is his only issue. Oh, actually, two. Like, his passing, sometimes he, he gets a little bit aggressive with his passing, but... He misses it. Zaire Williams wasn't looking for the outlet pass, and they turn it right back over for a wide-open Yakimovsky triple. Little rebounds and looked like he belonged defensively for sure. And he's got it right now. Beating Bonton. Five for a while. Washington tries to get it going again out of the corner. Another three pull. That one might have been Parchington is the beneficiary of a turnover from Stanford. Yeah, and a pretty good defensive sequence by the Huskies with that trap. And there you go. Now there's Sohonis, who it's, uh, it's a different situation than it was years ago. So a quick answer back by the Stanford Cardinal. And it's that hard, and the ball just kind of hung there for a while. Yeah, I thought, up by the Beavers. I thought as soon as could have went after. Yeah. Maybe he thought it was going to go out of bounds. Lefty rifle wide open, front rim and off injury early in this game so Stanford without its starting backcourt and it is stellar long three by Ethan the point shooter is you think those free throws will be easy money 58 57 Cardinal with the lead my bad and, said, and now a big deficit for Oregon State coming in and out is Thompson it says 6'2", 185, but he looks stronger than that to me. Has said his body was Pac-12 ready. Amen. Every year, so many of the players go straight to the NBA after one year, maybe sometimes two. But the players are coming, Roxy, and they realize that this is the play. And out of the pack, here comes Aaron Estrada for Oregon. Stanford's MJ defense. Figueroa. Final 10 seconds of the first half. Five left-handers on this Oregon Duck team. And one of the...
You I saw, saw a lot of dogs. Yes, I saw Ken Babs. I saw a Mountain Girl. It was just a, it was a wonderful halftime experience. In somewhere that you asked me if first, I'd been there. First time in all our years working together that you've ever said yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Eric. Representative high percentage or even a decent percentage shot at the rim yet. Stanford playing really good defense. That would be the first one. By Buckingham. One thing that happens early in the season, the officials over exaggerate all the calls. Whoa! Now, but they need, to, they need to win more than lose coming down the home stretch if they're going to get into the NCAA tournament. Lucas fouled by O'Connell. Delaire with the basket. Here's the tournament resume. And again, Joe Lenardi has them right now among the first four out. They trail by one right now. Duarte finding the open man. 7 0 Stanford run. On a green weaving. Someone is driving, finds the Silva. Ajima finger roll. Well, you, and you would think it have to be because you know Stanford's going to drive the ball. Right. That well, won't change Larson. But maybe Stan, oh. what if at least I've said that it's my eyes as well, just my eyes, but that's I, I, what it looks like this year. I've done a lot of games this year, and I could probably count on one hand. Way from becoming the first player in Pac-12 history. Now that's a little deceiving, Adrian, because Utah has a play of the ball game for Colorado. This is way different mentally than when they gave one away against Utah and Coach. In the country last year, in fact, he's the highest rated player ever to sign with Stanford. Daniels misses. And, and yes, the younger brother of Oscar is getting first half minutes. He's got it, number 23, and he drives. Not a bad looking move. Enish was not quite at the same level. That's right. Here's De Silva. He is not afraid. No, I, you know, he knows his brothers. <laughs> I want to just see him shoot it every time down. I want to see Zaire just put it up. It's, it's spectacular to watch. Throws that guy, McKinley Wright. Again. Stanford's three of six from three, but just two of nine from two. Timmy Allen to the bucket. That's two. It's a food. Farnham and I got you covered, believe me. Uh, you have a restaurant in every city that you like. Timmy Allen gives you. On ESPN Plus, to get ESPN Plus, go to ESPNPlus.com or download the ESPN app. Do you think either of those guys? Bonton on directing. On Williams with the oh. left hand. You need to start getting some points now or get fouled. Bonton on looking for some points, can't flip it in. Offense, manage the floor and attack. Now that's a great shot. All right, how do you like that's a great shot right there. And they have a chance to make this a single digit game. And oh, he had the layup and couldn't get it to go out front and open three. So Honus chases it down for the dogs. Missed inside. Rock foot for Riley Sorn. Gotta be nice to have about the 6'10 guy that can lead the break and just go ahead and finish play. Sorn could follow that. Your way. Ball belongs. Let's see if Oregon State can carve into that deficit. Thompson will go to the line again, and you see a more aggressive. Thompson slices right through the defense and a block. So another double double for De Silva and easy pickings there. Already, Jim Liz Steyer, Tom and Kat Steyer. People are fired up and ready to go. They love the way this team with how to play from Lawrence, Massachusetts, on the Merrimack River up in northeastern Massachusetts. You ever been there? I've been to Massachusetts, but not that particular spot. And then he took him to the NCAA tournament three times. He's, in fact, he's the only person in the history of the SEC to be in. Stanford taking advantage of some Bakersfield errors on defense fundamentally. Moore, who just hit the three, passed it up nice to take. attack the rack. Yeah. 
Nice take. The left jumps, gets up, shoots the ball. Got some length. Don't forget it. Of course, all of the Pac-12. What a dribbling for Arizona. They need to get a little more player movement going. Get that ball moving. There you go. There's the setup for the corner three. Coloco. And, uh, they, they have to defend without fouling. They've been fouling too much. Not the case here today. Terrell Brown. Nice. Well, Arizona now starting to do a little yep. bit of the Nets are long. Yeah, they are long. Longer than, than I would prefer. Nice drive and finish there by Terrell Brown. Offensive end. That was a clinic in passing. Dueling to the rack. Can't put it home. Leaves it for Harris. The NC State transfer tries to lay it in, and it was an offensive end of the floor. Harris through traffic. Contact and the foul. Yeah, out of rhythm because just too much. Boston, I've been there. And Austin, this is like the synchro destiny of my life here, all coming together. Are you sure those aren't just your top five? And that was Dejon Davis. It was right? Dejon Davis. Okay. Another, oh, another foul did, uh, with Bob Delaney when Bob Delaney was the superstar ref for uh, all of basketball. Yeah, Three for Spencer Jones. No good. No, John Mayer was not. Clyde and Guy Lewis and Albuquerque. That was a hit. Yeah. 52 first round draft picks. Since 1947. Unless that you actually understand what's going on. Here's Jones down the left side, off the glass and count it. Richmond for Brentwood. Where's number 32? Moore on the baseline again lost the handle. Good play. By Shot will be the quality of your defense. See that that offense points got seven rebounds. He is a high-scoring, hybrid type of forward. All right, that time they did. Adam, we're seeing what Sierra Canyon can bring to the... It's taken him a while to get back. Plays hard, left-handed. Very good passer. Maybe the best passer on this team. At the cool ball. Final minute of this first quarter. Concession block. Drew Peterson, the junior guard. For Evan Mobley, the star freshman. And White tries to is completely different than the SC. SC is straight up man to man, and Stanford with miscommunication. Oh, what a take! In the first meeting, a six point win for SC that Stanford was leading much of it. And Mobley again with the flush. And both of his baskets. Oh. USC trying to keep their hopes alive. Uh, Pac-12 regular season title. Good win. He got rejected. That's a get hot and stay hot. You get UCLA to get tripped up in one. I think they play each other too. College line look easy. You're probably going to transition to the NBA line fairly easily. There's a long reach of Williams creating the turnover. Good cut. Uh, Ethan Thompson in traffic couldn't finish. But Silva's there, the basket counts, and he's fouled. Oregon State gets the ball back. It's been Tom's frenetic for sure. Good cut. Alatiche and one. That's exactly what they're trying to do. Decision. Three on the clock. This is what it turns into. Two. Oh, it is all. Trying to go back in, in the post to Silva again. And a nice oh. five. But a foul committed. Bryce Wills thought he got all ball. And, and they're going to make the tournament, Florida State. You think? Yes. A wild prediction by you. You're being reckless again with your predictions. <laughs> well, and 11 of them going down to 25 for financial consideration. And when Stanford starts talking about financial considerations, throw it down one time. Oh, best shot. Was the shot Michael Jordan hit over him to win a playoff series. Yeah, and he was a great player. Could score, he was long. Trey Yakimovsky, two shots. Hold on. He's three for three at the line. And Zaire will. Simonis in the previous matchup between these two teams had a game high 24. And it doesn't look like he needs to be reminded on this game. No, no, no. Offensively for Washington, only three players have scored as opposed to seven for Stanford. Bay hanging. There you go. Finishing.
good news for the Huskies. Eric Stevenson is back on the floor. Roberts with a head of steam, and he misses the one-hand slot. Pryor, kind of a shot put, never draws iron. Broke. Okay, Captain Obvious, don't say anything about free throws right here because you broke that string for Jariah Horn. Oh, it's my way from becoming the first player in Pac-12 history. Now that's a little deceiving, Adrian, because Utah has a play of Evan Mobley. That's a pretty yeah. good week for anybody. Great point. And his teammate, Zaire Williams. And it took it. And let's see if he, he's able to score a basket. He did that on the road. Remember that three-point shot. Let's see if he hits another one. Horn. There he is in double figures. Conference is got some really good teams at the top of this conference. And unfortunately for Utah, they've had a run of playing those good teams recently. As Zaire Williams blocks the shot. For the hammer down. Warren. In the lane, can't push shot at home. But there's the far impact will play. There's the trap. Now they love the trap and rotate, but uh, you know, that was a, that was a good pass. And and a, and, a, and there's a steal. But you see, Green is super fast. Goes end to end. I, I was That's wondering what he was going to do with that one. To just 21% shooting threes in that game. And in the second half, they outscored the Ducks 40 to 33. We'll see if they can put pressure. You know, and, you, the more you watch Delaire and, and you take a good look at him, he's a, he's a talented player. I mean, you, yeah. Great inside look. Tucker can't finish. He'll go to the line. He's got to get out home. But that could mean anywhere. Hunt. And Jared Hess, who... Born in 1891, the same year that the sport of basketball was invented. Although Leland Stanford, a railroad man, an incredible business. And he missed it side. Chris Duarte, the rebound. Here comes Oregon. Oscar, who speaks six languages. I, I wonder how you say basketball coach on the state championship team. And what a broadcaster Neil Everett is. And we'll force North Carolina into 24 turnovers. Should have won the game going away. They were ahead for a lot of that game. Well, as Aaron is in the a, lane. Confidence. Learn to like yourself. Because nobody else is going to like you if you don't like yourself first. But that's without being a narcissist. So the, the studio guys, Sean and Seth, were calling out Evan Mobley, and, and, and right, rightly so, for not taking the shot. Oregon taking their time. Great a strong second cross. half for the Ducks. Is Bakersfield trying to keep contact here in the final two minutes before the half. Another spectacular move that doesn't go down for me. Back to big Brown, the Bulls going at it inside right there. Kasunas lost that one. And then the follow from, and he's such a good driver. So if he sees a lane initially, he can just go. Nice. Boy, Kinjo did a good job there to set up Jordan Brown. Get comfortable. When you get comfortable, you get more aggressive. And Zaire, Zaire's talent will come out. Nice step in there by Ira. Half it. Baker off the drive does make it happen. Arizona had its first conference game at home against Colorado. Postponed. Stanford was supposed to be at USC. And there's Jordan Brown finishing. Possession. I know. But asking Sean about that. Akinjo in. And Akinjo will get himself to the line. By the Cardinal. Trying to cash in a little more points. So they've scored three points off the prior five. Starks couldn't get that one to go. But the offensive rebound is there. I have something for you. <laughs> I have something for you. Alliance, nine to work with for the Aggies, and A&T will reset. Langley to Lions, go for a dunk, and he wow. missed it. Fast paced game, and I think A&T, one of the things I thought coming in was A&T had to control the pace, but right now, Stan. But a good stat I, I looked up, you know, I didn't look it up, I just kind of ran into it. <laughs> Is it hot? People who are behind the play, the defense doesn't have to do anything. But if you send cutters through, if you have somebody who you can use as a... 
Sohan is driving, finds De Silva. On ESPN Plus, to get ESPN Plus, go to ESPNPlus.com or download the ESPN app. Do you think either of those guys, he had to go right foot down, bring your left foot across, and knock it down? Fourth foul on Pella Larson. And Six to shoot. Bonton fading away. No good. Washington State. Seven to shoot. Bonton can't run it home. Rebound. Foot for Riley Sword. Got to be nice to have about a 6'10 guy that can lead the break and just go ahead and finish play. Sword couldn't follow that. Thompson. Another good look for. Let's see if Oregon State can carve into that deficit. Thompson will go to the line again, and you see a more aggressive. Thompson runs into the double, and the travel goes against Ethan. Just great deep. And a block. So another double double for De Silva, and easy pickings there. The Nets are long. Yeah, they are long. Longer than, than I would prefer. Nice drive and finish there by Terrell Brown. It's Akinjo. Is he flat. going? Yeah. Akinjo's going on the freshman. And Akinjo, let's see where it is. Offensive foul! Offensive end. That was a clinic in passing. Dueling to the rack. Can't put it home. Leaves it for Harris. The NC State transfer tries to lay it in and it was a lot to do it. But still has his tools if he needs to break them out and remodel the bathroom or something. Quinterly turned it over. The Villabeck first shot is good. Stanford strikes first. Shackleford off the bounce. And he'll shoot a pair. That you actually understand what's going on. Here's Jones down the left side. Off the glass and count it. And that time they did. Adam, we're seeing what Sierra Canyon can bring to the It's taken him a while to get back. Plays hard, left-handed. Very good passer. Maybe the best passer on this team. At the combo. Final minute of this first quarter. Consassin block. about this, Adam? When the NBA changes their rule and they allow high school players to go right to the pros, we're going to have NBA scouts. Center. And Mini Haha, Jalen Suggs, Chet Holmgren pulled off a big time win. So, so they've been simply have to make that. Well, he just took the dribble to the defense. Not the United States would go into that game heavy favorites. Step back three is good. I'm giving some context to it, saying he scored 14 points in seven minutes. That, that adds a little bit more flavor for the viewer. Hmm, flavor, and I like shit. <laughs> because he was supposed to be with my Terps, Roxy. He was originally oh. committed to go to Maryland to play lacrosse as O'Connell. Shot clock down to five. Maddox Daniels, long range. I know you love him. Well, that's one thing we talked to McKinley Wright for a while yesterday. Back to our cut. Parquet tried to flush it. It was effective. Three on De Silva, three on Williams with just over 14 minutes to go. And that's some trouble for Jared Hass. It is. I mean, they scored their first basket, and now it's been 447 since they scored. And this is battle left open. He missed. Tin is the beneficiary of a turnover from Stanford. Yeah, and a pretty good defensive sequence by the Huskies with that trap. And there you go. Now there's Sohonis who. Every year, so many of the players go straight to the NBA after one year, maybe sometimes two. But the players are coming, Roxy, and they realize that this is the place. Off the inbounds, a quick trigger air ball and a foul. De Silva with 19 right now, 19 and 7, leading Stanford. Baker. That's where I'd go, too. Look at. Better look. Again, let Williams fly by. Ah. So, I'm singing some goofy old blues song. I think it was called Blues in My Breakfast Cereal, sort of a. 
could be somewhere in between. I mean, he just had no, to touch the no, ball a lot offensively. This is Ashfield. This is extreme. John Petty, one of Penny's best players, along with P.J. Washington, who's now starring for the Charlotte Hornets. Peterson controlling. He's been magnificent in the first 17 minutes. Free throw line jumper. Back in a larger role and took advantage of it. Here's Lucas now. After uh, that tinkle timeout to try and stop a 12 0 run, and it works. Been so much energy guarding Jared Lucas. I mean, he is running all over the place. Thompson stepped through. LT. That's big time. And then look at his teammates. Zaire Williams, Williams excited. You know, Stanford. Finding the open man. 7 0 Stanford run. On a green weaving the three-point play that he was able to convert early on in the second half. Pulls up for a deep two, splashes it through. Here in the first half, Jamal Bay and Eric Stevenson for the Huskies combined to go eight for 13, shooting the rest of the Huskies in the first half or one for fifth. Put it down. He decided to make a poster. Wow. Right over Riley Soren at 7-4 way from becoming the first player in Pac-12 history. Now that's a little deceiving, Adrian, because Utah has a play. Stanford's three of six from three, but just two of nine from two. Timmy Allen to the bucket. That's two. Good ball movement to Bonton. Tough shot. Bonton directing. On Williams with the left hand. Hooks with either hand. Oh, he had Jackson yeah. there. He Kevin, had him. Kevin Stanley to start getting some points now or get fouled. Bonton looking for some points. Can't flip it in. And they have a chance to make this a single digit game. And, oh, he had the layup and couldn't get it to go. Our identity. They're showing it in the second half. And now Quade Green. That's a tough fall away. But an offensive rebound. Jerron Brooks. Coach Pass knows. I mean, he's still out there. Pull up jump shot. Green missing. Oh, here we go. Way. Ball belongs. Silva. Thompson. Oh, Slices right through the defense. And then he took him to the NCAA tournament three times. He, in fact, he's the only person in the history of the SEC to be in. Nice take to left. Well, Forced the Kinjo to yeah. give it up. But the Kinjo is going to score, and Will's just shut it off. Godfrey. Wants to talk about this with his team. Timeout with 9.23 to go. Stanford has pushed the lead out the 10. One out of two here is the situation, but the rebound comes down to Stanford. That one really hurts. CSUN into the first one good for Zaire Williams, the freshman. They were not even contested, so. Pac-12 selection, a standout on and off the floor. Here's Blake Harris, the NC State transfer. Spots up from downtown. The bank won't go. They have to move. Nine on the shot clock. Harris cuts towards the hole, and the off-balance shot won't go. Follows it himself. Offensive end of the floor. Harris through traffic. Contact and the foul. Yeah, out of rhythm because just too much. The other four are, are which? Uh, you can take your pick. And that was Dejon Davis. It was right? Dejon Davis. Okay. Another, oh, another foul. Did uh, with Bob Delaney when Bob Delaney was the superstar ref for uh, all of basketball. Uh, whitewater rafting, kayaking, belly acting. Have you ever been on a whitewater raft trip? I've not. That's a shot clock violation. We should go together. Caroline, this incredible program that has won the Maui. Jim, four different times, three times with Roy Williams. Oh, 
my goodness. Never turn Seth Greenberg's mic off. For a decade. Yikes, make a shot, please. Stanford has never beaten North Carolina. 0-12 lifetime. We'll Dejon Davis shaken up on that contact with the ground. And the people. People putting up huge numbers. Seven on the shot clock, and Byers goes to work. Around the goal, couldn't finish. Turner gets it back. Obviously, with their back-to-back -back losses, they've dropped out. Still in a good spot, obviously, for the tournament. As Mobley loses the handle, and Stanford with numbers back. Both teams as cold from the floor right now. Combined 3 for 12 to start. So Peterson with what could be another turnover there. That's just... And after Utah's mm -hmm. quick start, nice over the shoulder, batted away, and Zaire Williams wins the race to the ball, and he'll finish. Coming up on 6-10 to go in the first half. Yeah. Hands and Link. there's a steal. Sean Schwartz, and that pass picked off by Williams, leading a three on. He had to go right foot down, bring your left foot across, and knock it down. Fourth foul in Pella Larson. And the West, 12 players on the East, and then they play a game. And uh, yeah, Zaire Williams is the latest, but the greatest as far as. I wonder if Jared Hass is waiting for that. Stolen by Zaire. Warren to beat, lays it up in a 23 Badger victory for Stephen Bardo and the great crew here in Madison. Adam Amin saying good night. More college hoops from Santa Cruz. Well, he's having a terrific game here tonight. There's a nice steal. Is that uh, is that Zaire on? Now that's got to be Bryce Wills there, correct? He was leading the break, and Spencer Jones Whoa. launching and comes up empty. Huh. But Stanford takes it inside. Karake in the pass gets away. Yeah, the double on the low block that time forced him. Ran over Dejon Davis and threw him to the ground. I mean, that, that's like Jerry Kramer leading. Oh, my goodness. Never turn Seth Greenberg's mic off. For De Silva, his first field goal of the ballgame. It's amazing that Stanford has control of this game with Oscar, who speaks six languages. <laughs> has to do it, but still has his tools if he needs to break them out and remodel the bathroom or something. Quinterly turned it over. The villageman for Brentwood. Where's number 32? Moore on the baseline again lost the handle. Good play, but it didn't get any better for Brentwood most of the rest of the first quarter. But now you got to play just possession at a time. Oy. Williams with the Tierra Canyon when maybe they bring their B game. Well, they didn't bring their B game tonight. This is a high level A. This is an A plus. So Canyon and had no place to go with it. Other teams that may have to face Sierra Canyon are cringing right now in the playoffs. On the floor, so he brings in junior Reggie Tucker. He wears number 11. He also shoot it a little bit. In over the length of you. Frank bottled up by Braden Thomas. But he lost it behind the back. He is just such a pure scorer, and that'll continue at Kentucky as well. Yeah, the Wildcats have a great one. Another two. Oh, he missed one. Mellon's outless, but Williams gets back beautifully. He's about six foot eight. Uh, wonderful orchestration. The timing perfect to Boston for the flush. Here. And we didn't even mention Karen Frank, 15, who's, who's headed to TCU. Majestic. Here we go. Teammates don't know you're shooting, so there's no offensive rebounding balance, and you get beat in transition just like that. Dominican is giving up about a foot to Harold Yu there. I mean, Harold Yu has an NBA body right now. Sophomore class, great attacking combo guard, elite athlete. Here comes another one. Down. Oh, he's explosive around the basket, much like Boston. They force a turnover. Here's Williams. He'll stop and show. Has his dribble alive. He's just going to blow by you. The trap. 
pays a dividend. The steal by Williams. And oh. he comes up smiling. Brandon Boston. You talk about shooting it from downtown. And they force the turnover. And the...